Whether it be in person, virtual, or a blended learning model, schools have spent months preparing for the first day of school. Five News reporter Ellie Lynch is in Bentonville with more. So far, so good. It's with the principal at Willowbrook Elementary School in Bentonville tells me. She says this morning's drop off may have been the smoothest back to school day so far. Kids were excited to come inside. We had some who, of course, were lost, but we have enough staff who are all over in different places. They were all ready to, you know, grab a kid and let's go find your teacher. First through fifth graders were dropped off this morning around 725, with school starting at 750 in Bentonville. Teachers helped make the line flow smoothly. Music was playing, and it was overall a fun environment. So Willowbrook always does kind of like a little opening dance party at the beginning of school every year in our courtyard and since we couldn't all get out in the courtyard to welcome everybody back. We just thought we'd bring the fun outside at drop off. Parents and students are facing a lot of changes this school year. Parents walking their kids to their classroom isn't possible amid COVID-19. We did allow them to walk them to the door if they would like to. So lots of hugs, lots of kisses, you know, a couple of little tears, mostly from the parents. Daniel Samuelson dropped his two sons off this morning for the five day a week in person instruction. The main factor is just that um, um, their mom and I, we, we work all day. So it just, it's almost impossible for us to be home and, and, and trying to teach them and make sure that they get the education they need. So. It was, it was pretty much, this was the only option for us. And while the father of two says he's happy to see his kids reunited with his friends and teachers, he's also anxious. Us as parents, we're a little nervous, um, just not knowing what's going to happen during the school year. Um, I just found out I don't get to eat lunch with them during the year yet, so that's, that's a little, little tough. But um, other than that, we're real excited. Kindergarten classes here at Willowbrook begin on Thursday. In Bentonville, covering news where you live, Allie Lynch, 5 News.